Hey guys, and welcome back to our Let's Play. We are now at episode 3. So, let us just dive right back in, shall we? With Miss Genefa, right here. Recruiting some units. We'll be done in one turn. Van Rathi, of all people. Hmm. Maybe we should fight her? I mean, bring her some entertainment, some enlightenment. Got our first mate right here, which will be excellent for leadership. Let us indeed grab that right now. Should get that next turn. Income from post battle loot from this side, and that's pretty good. And the terrifying mask of E, I think not. We will go for Potion of Toughness instead. That should make Silostra pretty tanky, I think. More tanky than she already is. Let's pick a technology and move on. Something for our sirens, perhaps. Hmm. Not seeing a whole lot at the moment. Now this, I think, is all for deckhands and uh, mortars. Now income from ports is going to be useful. We'll just grab that right now. We are going to need that along with some public order as we expand to entertain the masses. With that, we end our turn. Prepare to have your heart soar in ecstasy and your soul taken. This guy seems quite smitten with her. Suppose I can't blame him. Although, peace, my man, that's... Um, I don't think so. Still don't think so. Nope. Not going to happen. But he is still only capable in our dear Sabastus eyes. Oh well. So melee attack will be useful. A good understudy. Some more melee defense, yeah, yeah, you could sure use that. So melee defense and frostbite will slow their movement speed a bit. Yes, indeed, 36% speed. And we encountered Hagrave, another Dark Elf faction over here. And Morathi seems to be... I watch from the shadows. Oh no, she's friendly with uh, these bastards. Or somewhat friendly, at least. It seems like... Speak. Yeah, she's not too happy with us. We're killing her children, after all. We could, for all I know, be at war very soon with all the Druki. Hmm. We shall perhaps have to entertain the entire world as it is. All right then, and Tyrannok, our first encountered High Elf faction. Have you heard of the High Elves? Hmm. Fantasy Peppy right here. <laughs> Not too happy with us either. We don't seem to have many friends at all. How rude. Unthinkable. And our old friends turns out um, I should have indeed dealed, dealt, excuse me, dealt with them. Because now they are coming back for sulfur it's right here hmm. we should probably go back and deal with that and get rid of them once and for all but before we do so we should probably Salustra's balcony well, seems rather useful but uh, this is a rather late thing so not now obviously Uh, again, we are going to need a bit of a line, so we need to build this. But we should move first towards Nilosi, deal with her once and for all. Just hope that Morathi won't declare war on us, join up with her. That is not impossible. Hmm, our ambush chance is not amazing. I think we're just gonna take it. Get a bloated corpse, just in case. Defend 
17 units versus our 20. I think we'd have a good chance of winning that. Unless they have something lying in wait here. I do not think so. Time to end our turn. So she has decided to attack, which makes sense. Not much of a garrison going on here. Now, <laughs> we do... We do have a bloated corpse here. So we could actually try and direct that corpse to do as much damage as possible against uh, something. You know what, let's... Let us do just that. So, now the only reason I'm doing this battle is um, to get this guy in there and try to do as much damage as possible to make the real battle easier. They've got some cavalry right here, some dank riders. What a rebellious face they must be in, these young dark elves. So, let's get you in there, buddy. Got some tech droppers right here. Now these guys can either have pistols, uh, rifles, or bombs even, I think. They are pretty useful. But can you get shot easily by the dark shots right here? So we'll have to try and uh, do some invasive maneuvers such as it were. We got some shades too. Those can dish out quite a bit of damage. Here you go, here you go, come on, come on. Yep, that was worth it. Oh my god. It's not... It's almost not even funny anymore. It's... Oh, ow, who am I kidding? It's hilarious, isn't it? So the deckhands will get, well, quite slaughtered, I think. So much for those evasive maneuvers, but I, I tried. The Dark Orders are still dying to our deckhands. I did not expect that. The cavalry in this game are apparently not very, uh, they don't hold their ground very well. No, some are better, better than others, clearly. I mean, these guys are light cab. For the most part, I think. But in any case, that's not quite over. No reason to have this drag on. Decisive defeat, but we dished out quite some damage there. Worth it, I think. She did not take the settlement, but is now raiding and is coming back to us. Now, since she is in raiding stand, she is going to be a bit fatigued. Denied. Not the smartest move there. No, see. Not the smartest move. How did she run that way? <laughs> well then. We'll have to repair this, of course. That's gonna be expensive. We have to deal with her. So here we go. Let's make quick work of them. I don't really want to lose anything here. That could be problematic. So here we are. Our troops are all lined up and ready to go. We got quite the hill here, so pretty nice for our gunnery mob here. And like I said, we'll just make quick work of these Druki right here. We've got our Mongols and Vincent in the forest here. We're ready to strike. Ever hungry. Go 
going for them right away. Let's get our good friend, Boomer, I think we should call him. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? Looks like we have a bit of a charge attempt going on here. We'll have no such thing, I'll have you know. Send in the Boomer. And goodbye, Red Spears. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Goose, where are you? There you are. It's going to be quite the rear attack. Right there. It's going to absolutely decimate those dark shards. We'll spawn our good knights. The Sirens are doing good work there. are firing at us from up there, it would seem. Not the most impressive charge I've ever seen. Let's try that again. Come on now. You are nice, aren't you? Uh, lost a gunnery mob there. Too bad. Well, it happens. Now, I did tell them to run away from melee, but um, sometimes that doesn't always work. They simply refused to be dishonorable and run from combat. Or at least that's what, they'll, that's, what we'll, that's what we'll say. Get a little bit of healing on this area right there. can indeed get another group of knights, no? Huh, I clicked the ability, but I'm not sure what happened there. And there goes our Spectral Knights. They did their part. Now where is... There she is. We need to get her. Fight to the death. Well, two against one, anyways. Well, she's running away now. That will not save her. There she goes. Well done, Paladin. You finished the job. We should try to run down as many as we possibly can here. So 
sirens. Catch them. them down. <laughs> it's going to be a bit difficult to catch these, I think. Yeah, probably not going to happen, unless we spawn this unit right here, only to catch those shades. No, oh, I think it's worth it. Shades are pretty dangerous after all. Lowy calls. Brave knights. Time to go. I think they might escape. Or will they? It's going to be very close. Ah. You could have caught those guys. Come on. Bunch of lazy peasants. Knights of Undead peasants. You are. Each and every last one of you. Shameful display. Lost one unit there. Probably well, we can replace it easily. Not a huge deal. And we got our, ourselves a bit of a banner here. This will give us uh, weapon damage. Will be useful. Replenishment. Ah, uh, not so much right now. I'll take money. We're going to need that. Always going to need money. Ah, we need to finish off this army. So let us do just that. Easy order is all. We spend some infamy to gain XP. For our, all our troops for three turns. Pretty useful, but not right now. We'll just go for some punishment now instead, I think. Lords over Druki. Now we really should go and just get rid of them for good. So they will not pester us no more. Lots of points to spend. How glorious. We'll do that. Next turn, I think. <laughs> I am Madame Diapin, and you do miss die. He does not seem to take a hint. This time it's high, but I still don't think he will give us that much. He's got 5,000 now. We could probably... Grab a bit from him or not. Low. Still low. He will not even give us 100. Okay. He's gonna get it. He's on the list. We'll have to deal with him before we go to Lothurn. And sing for the glorious, glorious Phoenix King Thinnebar. But that will be a while, I think. First, yes, let's pity. get rid of the Druki right here. The Might as well equip this banner on Sanostra. We did have a death hand, but yes, our numbers were quite overwhelming. And with that, oh, that is tempting. We do need that money. We will not bang. Hmm. We should take that. Join me. Find an audience. Yet they still decide to get another lord. Sorry, it's not going to help you. Not at this rate. Dankies. Recruit a lord. 
Don't quite have the money for that, I'm afraid. Symbols. I wish Symbols could be a hero. A unique hero. The Bordello Flabellum. No idea if I'm saying that right. Apparently, we've done we've done this quest already? Okay. Ah, oh, we needed 6,000 for that. Okay. And a bit of uh, lore here. How glorious. I'll let you read that if you want. But we're moving on. Someone has claimed the Sword of Cain. That's probably the uh, Ever Queen. She has a tendency of doing that. So, since we decided to sack last turn, oh, we will need to race this one. That you cannot do in one. You need to sack first, and then next turn, you race. Now this should do it. Let's see, do we get anything interesting? Other than losing XP, not so much. And goodbye. Call the attacker trait. And with that, they are gone. Finally. We will ignore this. This region right here, seeing as um, it's unpleasant for us. That will just be annoying for us to keep in the long run. I don't suppose we can dig here. Or, nope, there was nothing here. I can both dig and encamp and get replenishment. That's um, pretty useful, pretty powerful. Oh, three points, how nice. I still have not decided whether I want questing knights or knights of the realm. They're both good, obviously. It just depends on what you're fighting. We should finish this one off. Now once we get six, once we spend, I mean, six points here in this tree, in this section, I mean, we can get a vast ye. This will increase our leadership, our weapon damage and armor piercing. And then we can upgrade it further by spending one point right here. So we should keep doing what we're doing, I think. So physical resist and melee defense for Prometheans, those are the giant zombie crabs I mentioned earlier. Rotting Leviathan, that's basically a very, very big uh, zombie crab. Very big and angry zombie crab. Some death droppers, uh, right, sirens. We, we're going to want this, so we'll just grab that buff our sirens right away. And we can give our good paladin a barded warhorse. Now that does sound pretty useful. We could have him uh, charged with his undead mates. Let us do that. Let us give him a mount. Fallen from grace. Useful stuff right there. We can give him a weapon. We can give him... Quite a bit of stuff, actually. A good understudy. Bonus versus infantry for Vincent is going to be quite useful. That is, after all, what he does. He tears people up. A close range and scavenge. Give us some more post-battle loot. And for our fleet See captain... Extra healing and some uh, ward save. Yeah, she's going to need that. So ward save is basically damage resist of all form, all forms. Resist all types of damage. So hello guys. Uh, I do apologize about this, but apparently my uh, shadow play decided to, well, die on me in the middle of the episode. So I lost a bit of footage, but no big deal. I don't think. Um, I decided to uh, leave the commentary out of this upcoming fight right here. Do let me know what you think about that. Maybe that is preferred, which is totally fine, by the way. But, um, uh, yeah. See you guys next episode, basically. Have a good day. Salute!